Hey guys, so welcome back to our channel. And we are so long overdue with this, we apologize. But this is the portion of our channel that we wish to incorporate our uh, faith and we want to discuss topics that are very important and close to our hearts. And so today's topic, it will be a series of topics. So today's topic, we will be discussing... Um, giving. Giving, yes. <laughs> How important it is as believers as christian um to go the extra mile you know to give back to volunteer and to just do more uh than what you're doing as christians right and so the scripture that comes to mind is in um <laughs> oh, we gotta start over we channel and today this is a long overdue but today we will be discussing the faith portion of our channel and so we want to actually uh, start a series of discussions where we talk about just various aspects of the Bible and how we can apply it to our everyday lives and so the topic today that we'll be discussing is giving how it how important it is as Christians to go the extra mile you know give a little bit more do a little bit more volunteer a little bit more you know step out of uh, that boundary and just um do more as believers as followers of christ as jesus has commanded us to do yeah and just to add to what andrew's saying giving is not just about um you know monetary um like funds or money it's not having to do with money right like it doesn't mean that oh as Christians, we're expected to just give our money. No, um, I'm constantly reminded about the uh, scripture in Luke. It's um, Luke 12. Yeah. Um, I'll drop the uh, scripture in the description, but it's Luke 12, 44 to 48, I believe. And it's pretty much the scripture that says, um, to whom much is given, much is re required, right? Yeah. And so essentially that means, or what that means is that, you know, God, God has given us all talents. Um, your talents might not look the same as mine and vice versa, but at the end of the day, we all have talents. Um, some of us have the talent of... Um, oh, singing. Singing, yeah, that's a talent. Uh, some of us have the, the gift of gab, so some of us are really good at motivating, encouraging. Uh, some of us are great teachers. Um, some of us, you know, are artistic, like Andrew said. So be it musical or with drawings or uh, performing arts. So pretty much we all have talents. Like, I don't like when I hear people say, oh, I'm not gifted. I don't have talents. You know, I don't know what my strengths are. Literally last week I had this conversation with one of my sisters. I was listening. I was driving to... Um, I, I guess Walmart or some store and um, my um, my radio station is always locked into Joel Austin so I listen to him on series or series 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 I think it's series X series series X I think that's how you pronounce it and so pretty much the topic that he was discussing was the importance of we have to be mindful as Christians that because God has instilled us with certain talents, if we don't use those talents, we're going to lose them. Yep. And the thing that struck me was that we're all given an equal amount of talent. Like every single person is given talents. Whether or not we see it as such, we might not, you know, believe that. However, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we all have talents. However, yeah, it's just as you mentioned talent, that's a, you, you, you strike the nail right on the head. So there's a scripture in Matthew that uh, speak about um, uh, God giving three person talent, right? So he gave one five, he gave one two, and then he gave uh, another one talent, right? 
and he said, "Go, go, multiply on your talent and go." Well, he gave the God gave the master. It wasn't God who gave the men. It was the master. Okay, so yeah. something like that, close enough. So he said, "Go, work on your talent, right? Uh, go multiply, right?" So uh, they go. They made a hundred profit. The one that got five and the one that got two, and then the one that got one, he's like, "What is this?" And he buried his talent, right? He's like, hid it. He didn't want to work on it. He didn't want to do nothing. So in life, you know, we all got talent. God all gave us a gift, you know, and we just have to dig deep, search deep, find what it is, find what we're good at, you know, helping out in our community in whatever way we can. Right. So going back to what I was sta stating before, the thing is, if we don't use the talents that we're given, we're going to lose them. But what struck me as, I guess, very important, what Joel Austin was referring to, is that if you're not going to use your talent, God is going to take it and give it to somebody else. Yeah. Right. So he's going to bless the next person with what whatever talent you initially was supposed to be uh, gifted with. Right. And so it's very true with the reference that Andrew made in Matthew. I mean, the master did give the three um, servants the talents. So the point is that the first two, they, they prospered. They got uh, promoted afterwards yeah. because when the master returned, he was able to see the return on his initial yes. investment because yeah. they were able to grow his talents, right? Whereas the third... Um, uh, servant he was so fearful and you know mistrusting yeah. like he wasn't sure okay well you know what he's giving me this talent but I don't want to lose it I don't want to you know risk anything and so that's why he hit it and I think yeah. a lot of the times that's how we feel you know mm -hmm. in our in yeah. our everyday lives like we're given these talents and we're thinking oh my gosh like you know what or investments like we're thinking oh you know what it's just a little bit of money it's not anything like um, whatever my friend has or my, you know, my neighbor has or my whoever co-worker has. And so you think that you have to hold on to it with a tight fist, but not realizing that if you don't invest it wise, wisely, if you don't share it, if you don't, you know, prophesy and like share the message that God has given to you, then you're honestly not going, you know, you're not going to grow in that sense. Right. Yeah. yeah. And as he said, he said, we should also be, uh, Era of the word and do right so not just by just listening every day but also your action should speak right, right. so doing accordingly what he uh, commanded us to do and living the life that he so desire of us to live I just want to share something quick and giving I remember one night I came uh, I actually went to the bank machine right true story I went to the bank machine late like minutes to 12 after I got off my shift I saw a homeless man right beside the machine right uh it was cold it was in the winter and he was right beside the machine and i said you know what i'm still going to use the machine i need the money like tonight right so i went and i took out the amount i needed and then i looked at this homeless man and then i took out an extra five bucks yeah i know it's not much but i took out that extra five bucks and i said here buddy buy yourself a cup of coffee you know, kind of keep warm, stuff like that, right? This homeless man looked at me and he said, Sir, I've been in here almost seven hours and you're the only one that actually even stopped to say hi. And you know, mm -hmm. that kind of moved me, right? But uh, it's stuff like these, you know, just the simple stuff that people overlook goes a long way. Yeah, no, definitely. And again, like, you know, the fact that you were the only one to stop, because I think a lot of people... Especially like that, well, there's a number it, of factors. It like, could be fear, yeah. Yeah, it could People be could fear. Be fear. I yeah. mean, at that type, type, time, time of, of night, yeah. especially me as a woman, like, for sure, I would have just kept going. So, like, I commend you for, you know, actually stopping and being brave in that sense. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not everybody that would do that. But, I mean, again, that's, you know, I think that was probably um, divine intervention in a yeah. sense. It was God's way of saying, you know what, Andrew? Like, yes, you need to stop at the bank. But you know what? There's a gentleman here, here and he's there for a reason. Exactly. And so, you know, maybe God spoke to your heart in that moment to say, you know what? I think, yeah, this this guy needs some help. Yeah, right? and I think the, 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 the money I gave him, I don't think he was, um, it wasn't really that, that um, touch him, I would say. But it's the fact that he said, I'm the only one that actually said hi to him for the mm. seven hours that he was there. 
So, you know, it's it's that going above and beyond, you know, stepping out of our comfort zone and doing a little extra. Right. And again, like it doesn't have to be monetary, right? Like no. it could be so many things like, you know, whether or not you volunteer in your community, like perhaps it's volunteering at a church or at a school, just volunteering your time, volunteering your efforts. Like those are all resources that we've been entrusted with. And that's definitely something that, you know, you cannot put a price tag on. Yeah. So for certain, like, we encourage you. Um, and whether you're a believer or a non-believer, yeah. it's just something that at the end of the day, when you give yourself, you know, willingly and freely to others, I just think that what you get back, it's like 10 times, you know, yeah. in, in return what you would be initially expecting, right? Like, it just leaves you with a really good feeling um, of accomplishment at least I know it does for me and so be it you know even a kind word to a stranger yeah, it goes um, a long way right like I was also listening to a podcast by Joyce Mayer Meyer Meyer, Meyer. Yeah, and yeah. she honestly like she was speaking to my heart that day and you know the one thing she said was you know how often do we actually uh, pass people in public and we think of something to say but we don't actually voice, voice it, it right yeah. and the way she said it I don't remember her exact wording but it was to the effect of you know me thinking in my head like oh you know wow she has a really that lady has a really nice hairstyle or she's wearing a nice outfit like that doesn't do what anything for she her doesn't know. yeah she's not gonna know so I have yeah. to actually voice it and yeah. I mean what's it gonna cost me like is it really gonna cost me no. anything so I guess the bottom line to that story is essentially like you giving a com a comment or a compliment freely, like that's not going to cost us anything. And you don't know how much of an impact it's going to um, have, on the, other yeah, have on the other person, right? Like they might be having a bad day. They might have just needed to hear something nice, something uplifting. Positive so here. yeah, something positive. So I mean... Instead of us walking around and, you oh, know, high and, you know, yeah, and thinking uh, that we don't have yeah, to, um, to anyone or right. Like, yeah. And like, I know we're busy and we're trying to like get through the hustle and bustle of life. But honestly, like if it just means to stop, take a pause and just say, you know, a few nice words to you today? a stranger, yeah. right? Yeah. So, um, we don't want to make this video too long, so we're just so, going to wrap up, but yeah, essentially again, thanks for sharing guys. And remember to subscribe, like, and leave us a comment. And uh, if there's any other topic that you'd like us to discuss, you can just leave it in our comment box and we will make a video of that. All right.